I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. Another week has rolled by. God has brought us on our way. And now we're all gathering together at the feet of Jesus to worship Him. All praise to Jesus. And today we're going to be talking about a subject entitled, The Blessings of Death. And you say, oh, not for me. Well, this is for Christians. And there's great blessings in death. And I'm going to give three of the wonderful things that happen when Christians die. So call your friends because they're going to be blessed. They're going to be helped. They're going to be encouraged. They're going to be excited about the day they get to meet the Lord. So just, kid, just keep us in mind and join us. Well, we're reading from Philippians chapter 1, <clears throat> beginning with the 21st verse. And um, this, time, this week we're going to pray for the, our brothers and sisters uh, in Algeria. Every, every week we pray for a different country. This will be Algeria. <clears throat> but Paul writes in uh, Philippians chapter 1, beginning with verse 21, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I choose I shall not, I know not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me, and by him I coming to you again. And so, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful letter of St. Paul and how he teaches that for all he thing in his life for him, was living for you, and how that he tells us that to die is gain, and that we can just rejoice because the best is yet to come. So we just pray that we'll have our faith placed in you, because we know that this hope is only for those who know you, those who personally know you. And, oh God, we personally know you through prayer, by just talking to you, and you were there, and we just talk to you and ask you to come into our heart, and you do it every time. You never turn us down. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. You will take all. You are not willing that any should perish. And oh, what a wonderful message that you love us. In all of our sin and wickedness, you love us. And you want us to turn from that and turn to you. And then like St. Paul, live for Jesus Christ. Lord, today we want to pray for our brothers and sisters in Algeria. And our heart goes out to them, and we just pray that you, I know you'll give them grace in time of trouble and help them, Lord, to stand true. And as some of them, as we saw the other day, in Arabic they say, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, and give their life, O oh God and their life in immediately is in your presence. And so we just pray for those and the ones that are left behind. And, oh, God, we just pray that maybe you could come soon and put an end to this suffering. And yet we know that that lies only in the Father's hands. And for that, we, we, are, we just feel that's just all right. We agree with that and submit to it joyfully. So now bless us in this service as we see some of the joys that await every believer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.